Okay, here in this video I will briefly introduce the basic set operations. Uh, yes, there are a few of them. Uh, first one which I'm going to mention is the union of two sets. So we're talking about two sets A and B which come from a larger common set X and uh, union is a collection of all elements. So for instance you say element x belongs to the union of a and b if and only if x belongs to a or x belongs to, or x belongs to x belongs to b this symbol by the way you read the symbol belong uh, another set operation which you have to know is the intersection of sets that's the way you write it x belongs to the intersection of two sets and that is equivalent to saying that x belongs to A and x belongs to B at the same time. Uh, um, set operations, by the way, also can be demonstrated with the help of the diagrams, and I have these a few diagrams here which will help me to do that. Uh, for instance, here in this diagram, for if this circle, dash circle, will represent the set A, all points of the set A, and the solid circle represents the all points of the set B, then the union of these two sets will be the combination of two circles together. So the union will be the will be this area shaded in pink. Similarly, again, if uh, this dashed circle represents all points of the point B, uh, of the set B, and uh, sorry, if the dashed circle represents all points of the set A and the solid circles all points of the set B, the intersection of two will be this common area, the area which common between two sets. So I'll shade it in pink again. This is the visualization of intersection of these two sets. Another operation which we will use very often which is called the set difference. This is a typical notation for the set difference. Element x belongs to this difference of two sets. So this is like a stroke inclined to the left. Uh, and this is uh, equivalently, this is to say that the x belongs to A and x, again it's a typo, x does not belong to b at the same time. So if I make another demonst uh, demonstration here on these diagrams, if these are two sets again, it's the dashed circle is the points of A and the solid circle points of B, then the difference of sets will be visualized like this. Uh, these are three basic set operations which we have to use, which we have, which will these are three basic set operations. So these are three basic set operations which we will use on a regular basis. Uh, there are another two which are sort of a derivative of this three. Uh, complement, uh, and that's a typical notation for the complement, A with a little c, the superscript. Uh, and uh, x belongs to the complement when x little x doesn't belong to the a itself. So for instance, if this big box it represents this big set x and the solid circle here represents the set a, the complement of the complement will be this set again shaded in pink. So it's all the points in X in your big set which do not belong to your set A. Now, the final set operation which I will use from time to time, which is called the symmetric difference. It's sort of a development of the set difference. Uh, that's a typical notation for that. It's like a triangle used to denote the set difference. And the definition for that goes like X belongs to A and X x doesn't belong to 
or it also can be that x doesn't belong to a and x belongs to b. So in some sense, this is a derivative of the three basic operations because you can equivalently say, and I will say it somewhere, you can equivalently say that the uh, symmetric set difference is this just the union of the normal set difference uh, let me just put it here the symmetric set difference is the union of the a take b set difference and b take a so basically it will be two crescent shape shade areas like this. So the symmetric difference of two sets, so this is again dash circle represents the set A and the solid circle set B my set symmetric set difference will be these two crescent shaped shade, uh, pink shade, uh, shaded areas pink shaded areas uh, there are some variants of these notations uh, when it comes to union, intersection, I mean, especially these two. There are some variants of this when it comes to union or intersection of more than two sets, finite number of sets. Uh, this is nice generalization. I will just, let me just, let me just do it. Um, I'll do it like this. I'll move it a little bit to the right. Just let me just take all of it. So this is the equivalent restatement of the set difference. Now, if you have, if you have not two but more than two sets, for instance, a one, a two. And all subsets of the bigger set X, you can also consider the union and intersection of these ones. This will be like an inductive generalization of these two operations. Notation wise, uh, the union of these N sets, notation wise, will be written as follows. Similarly, the intersection of these sets will be written as follows. So this is the union of n sets and this is the intersection of n sets. There is a variant when n equal infinity, meaning that you have infinitely many of these, this symbol still will be used in this context too. So when you have not just a finite number of sets but infinitely many of these. Uh, just one extra notation which probably I have to mention here, uh, which is called the disjoint union of sets. We normally write it like this, uh, disjoint union, I'll write it here. Uh, we write it like this, That's a symbol which represents these joint sets. Basically, basically, this is the same as normal union. There is no difference at all in this in this set and in this set. But when you write something like this, you at the same time assume that that sorry that A and B are disjoint. So there's nothing in the intersection. So remember this. If the union symbol, which is like a square union symbol, it says to you that you take a union of two sets, but at the same time, it also says to you that the sets which are involved in this union are disjoint. When you talk about the when you talk about a disjoint union of more than two sets, 
like this one, for instance, n sets. This is the same as this is the same as normal union of these n sets. But again, we assume this symbol assumes that the sets involved. Uh, this time they pairwise disjoin. So if you take two indices k and j which are not equal to each other, then the intersection of the associated sets will be empty. Will be empty. That's all I have to say in relation to the notation of set operations.